Good evening. It's past seven o'clock at night. We got a babysitter. So we are gonna go check out some nightlife. Cause we've been walking around and like, kind of feeling like maybe to understand Japan, it would be good to have a night out. Sorry, people are staring at us a lot. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna try to do that, and one of our Instagram followers, maybe YouTube, Sam Lee, I don't know if he went to university here, he sent us a ton of recommendations. So we're basically banking our entire evening on a stranger from the internet's taste in bars. So Sam, if Sam. you're watching, you didn't recommend this place. This was a on the way stop. This place is called Sour. We're gonna go check it out, uh, and then we're gonna keep going. Up one success, we had, uh, that's a Sour bar. Sour is like a Japanese cocktail with shochu and soda water and sometimes a fruit and that one uses like super fresh fruit so I had ginger, Pete had grapefruit, they were delicious, the place was very cool. Let's keep going. I I thought that didn't have any alcohol in it and then yeah. halfway through my glass I realized it had alcohol in it. Oh really? Yeah. You definitely can't taste it but it's like a nice refreshing, a good like end of, Dice our friend uh, who we first had sours with said it was like a good end of the, I don't know, walking in the wrong direction. A good like end of the evening cocktail. Love the concept of like, <laughs> sh I shouldn't be drinking now, I'll just order this low ABV alcohol. Anyway, cocktail. Guys, <laughs> it's not even eight o'clock. Message for Sam Lee. If your recommendations are as good as room 3335, we're in for a good night because that jazz bar was a pretty special place. Um, they didn't want us to film because they said they were shy boys. It was a and a, women. There was okay. They said shy boys, but yes, there was one woman. Um, it was an open mic night. It was a jam session. It was. It was great. What it was. <laughs> it, was it was unlike yeah. anywhere. It's annoying to talk about somewhere. I think I have a few clips, but it's annoying to talk about somewhere you can't see. It was like I don't know, 400 square feet. Yeah. Um, everybody except the saxophonist was over 50. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was like jazzy jam band, and then a guy got up, lovely guy, um, who sang a mashup of Sting, Every Breath You Take, and Stand By Me. Hey, you must drink Jack Daniel. Then a woman who I can only describe as de dressed in like the most like 1990s like work attire. So modest, very beige, lovely woman like gave it her all for this like English Autumn the Leaves. Autumn Leaves, who sings that? I don't know, da -da 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 -da. but this is a little reference from my dad. My dad would love this place and... Um, there was a Japanese version of Dave Wilcock yeah, playing the yeah. keyboard. And uh, there was, and dad, if you're watching, there was a John Coltrane poster in there as well. So I know you would approve of this place. That was a special place. I'm sorry we don't have more footage. It is called Room 30, 335. I'm pretty sure that logo was designed on Microsoft Word. <laughs> Thank you, Sam Lee. We're gonna go try to find your Canadian friend at Key Bar. We need to get you to say hi to uh... to Sam Lee. Yeah. Hey, Sam, dude. When are you coming back here, man? You dissed me. You left me. <laughs> I know it's Corona and COVID and all that stuff, but I'm waiting for you. All right, here we go. This is your first Kyoto matcha beer. I gotta warn you that you're, it's nine percent alcohol. One. It says on the back somewhere they're in Japanese, but there's a nine and a percent mark, maybe. And number two, your tongue's gonna be green. Oh, wow. What? Okay, now there's one bad thing about this beer, and this is a really bad pour. I can't believe you're recording this. Okay. <laughs> um, this is Shahid, so, so Shahid right? My name is Shahid, yes. Shahid. So, my God, I don't usually pour like this. You just, ah! Oh, it's good. It's like IPA. I love, I love that. Everyone's like that. It's good. Like, they don't yeah, expect yeah. Right, right. out of it. Like, it's funny because matcha is one of those things that I like want to love, but I don't love it. No one it. really, actually, no one really likes matcha. Right? I like, I like it. We had like a matcha. Oh, and you only like it when it's healthy, right? Well, no, I had like a matcha, like an ice cream mixed with like vanilla. Like I had another like matcha, vanilla, with oh, really like it. Yeah, it was in that. Cause it was, like, oh, because yeah. oh, it was half and half, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I evidently I also like it when it's mixed with 9% IPA. Awesome. 
Masa, yay! Masa, Masa gave me my first hug in Japan. Oh, oh. He, actually, he actually gave me two. I'm not gonna forget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, welcome to Japan. Family, you are two for two. Shahid, incredible. And he introduced us to his friend Masa, who is a professor at the university here, and he teaches how to make characters. Not just technically, like anime characters, but like how to embody, from what I understand, the okay. character. Interrupt me. Yeah, do it. I was gonna say, Sam, we need to meet. I don't know where. We hear you're Canadian. I thought you were Korean. I think you're Korean Canadian. Anyway. <laughs> we don't know anything about you, but you have great we need to meet. bar recommendations. And I need to buy you a beer. Or and to anybody else that's watching this and you're like, this is not what I signed up for, <laughs> Tell us where to go, because we will listen to you blindly and have a great time and then feel like we're friends, but we're really just strangers but you've, who like, you've, met on the internet. You've introduced us to people that you knew, which is like really cool. That very, very cool. Very and fun. now we're going to take you to Concrete Bar. Five minutes. We need five minutes. We also need some cash. Let's go. I know the amp, but the strength of this rum, I love it. And he said you have to come to this bar. Oh, oh, and he said you have to come to this bar. Oh, really? So we were like, okay. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, cool as. That guy just told us that he sleeps, he goes to bed at 9 a.m. His bar, I guess, Concrete Bar in Kyoto, is like where people come after the club. So it doesn't open until 9 p.m. I think it probably gets popular a lot later. He serves food till 7 or 8 a.m. Then he goes home and sleeps from 9 a.m. He's 42 years old. He's been working there since he was 16, is what he was trying to say, I think. Yeah. Wait, Amazing. so this is, this is the Izakaya that... Like, yeah, and the next actually. door, yeah, there's an izakaya and it just like slides the food under. The food was really good. Thank you, Sam Lee. On me. <laughs> I mean, that was cool. That was a really cool part. Um, I mean, I want the music a little bit louder, personally, but. So that was another Sam Lee recommendation, and he said, Have you ever been to a bar lit only by candlelight? And the answer, Sam Lee, is no, I have not, but now I have. It's very calm, very chill, much like a lot of things in this country. Uh, very friendly though. They were like happy to have tourists back and it was a very cool experience. Just now we're really hungry. Just we're gonna go to your izakaya recommendation. Just yeah, no, it's just like it's like all like just a bit like notched down. For, I just like want some party liveliness vibes. It was Ooh. like oh, just very cool bar. Very cool bar. Everything is so chill here. If you want like a peaceful experience, come to Japan. If you want to tread on eggshells, <laughs> we need to shut up. We're hungry. However, we wanted to go to a pachinko, a pachinko, a place that has. I, we want to go to one. Pachinko, pachinko. Pachinko, pachinko. Watch us lose all our money. Play the can of green. Here come the excuses. It's time to turn. We said we'd need it. Okay, for we. Whatever this is, it's more than I started with.
housing. With this, can I use it in Tokyo? Sailor Steria Anchor Top. We have to figure out what to do with this. This is such a waste of our babysitting money. Oh, wait, yeah. What's this thing? It's <laughs> the secret. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's just light it. There we go. Oh, no, no. Yeah, over here. So, gambling is illegal here. Spoiler alert, this is gambling. You just have to do it next door. You just gambled. Somebody, there's a little elf inside that booth that might give us money for these plastic carts. Oh, you lost me. <laughs> oh, I got 800 in money and and this. I could have lost more. I thought I won. I did win. Why did they give me this? Bye. What you got is the memories all alone in the moonlight. Oh, it's a green fried chicken. We're back. Pachinko was the last thing we did because we have to come early to the babysitter. So, good night from Kyoto. Really fun evening. Massive thank you to Stanley. If you're another one of our subscribers and you have ideas for places we'll go, please let us know because we'll, we will go there. We will go there. We will pretend that we are actual friends, not just strangers on the internet. And we'd love to hear from you. See you tomorrow. Pete, remind me I have to close out this vlog tomorrow. Good morning, it's the next morning and we are actually on our way to the Kyoto train station to take our first ever Shinkansen, which we are super excited about. Uh, but that means that's the end of this vlog. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out. And a massive, massive thank you to Mimaro Hotels. We've been staying with them at two properties here in Kyoto. You can find out all about them in the description box below. Uh, and we can't wait to show you some more of their properties in Tokyo. See you again. Goodbye.